Hey, 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 what are you doing? Mate, that's a fucking good candelibra. Oh, yeah, good on you, mate. Darren, you don't go throwing shit like this away. What's this? What is it? It's the world. Duh. And we're about to go and see this big bastard for real. Mate, the only way to make money is to rip people off. You don't go throwing shit like this away. Every cent counts. I'm taking that and I'm taking the globe. It's all about overpricing, Dagger. You don't give them la da snobs down Chapel Street nothing too cheap, they won't buy it. And don't go telling Rhonda about this, mate. She gets a whiff of this and she's gonna ruin it for the both of us. Oh, come on, Kane. Rhonda's all right. All right? Darren, she's my ex-wife. And another thing, don't you go down to the bloody Bayswater pub telling every other bastard down there that I got busted drink driving. Cos I never got busted drink driving. I never said that. You did. I didn't. Ever since Rhonda went to Bangkok to get her boobs done, you've been going down the Bayswater pub telling every other loser down there that'll listen that I got busted drink driving. I didn't say that. And another thing, mate. How are we supposed to make good business as Trash and Treasure salesmen down at the Wong Turner Trash and Treasure drive-in market when every other bastard in town, especially at the Bayswater pub, thinks that I got busted drink driving? Mate, I'm an Australian and I'm proud to be an Australian. And I drink drive a lot. In fact, I'll probably drive better when I am drunk. The point is, mate, I never got nabbed for it. Listen, mate, they reckon there's this, um, there's this little mint you can take before you go through the breathalysers. <sighs> no, seriously, no, no shit. There's this mint, little mint, you just pop one in, see your booze bus, and then it bungs up the breathalyser. Where did you hear that? Off the other Darren. Darren Baker? Yeah? Darren, Darren Baker's full of shit. He, that's a crock, a little mint. Didn't you even go to tech? Oh, did you fart? I didn't fart. Fucking stinks. I didn't fart. She farted. Did you fart? Did you fart? Hey? Did you fart? She did. Kane, I don't know why you keep calling her a she. She's got a dick. Well, she carries on like a bitch. No balls, but she's got a dick. Yeah, well, she carries on like a bitch. You know what I mean, Nan? She used to have this um, cat called Hazel and uh, she took it to the vets one day and she found out the vet told her that Hazel was a bloke. So she changed its name to Hazel Nuts. Yeah. Brick veneer, a big front yard Fist full of Valium to keep the facade TV shopping, midday soaps Serenity to keep up the hopes Suburbia, there's lots of trees Suburbia, there's lots of peace I'm waiting for my folks to die So I can have myself a piece of the pie Suburbia, I live in life So what we need to do is we've got to work out which one of these countries over here in here in the EU that actually you need visas to get into because I think you actually need one for the Czech Republic. You, you need a visa for all of them. You don't need a visa for all of them, you only need some of them, those ones that used to be commos. Not all the European countries used to be commos. You just need a passport, each page is a visa. Yeah, no, you need to get a visa stamped in your passport to get into some of these fucking countries and Czech Republic is one of these countries. Well that's what Sandra at the fucking travel agent's supposed to organise. Okay. Have you ever thought about where you're going to end up? Yeah. What do you mean? You know, when you croak it. Mate, you're born in Baronia, you live in Baronia, and you fucking die in Baronia. I don't give a flog's flying fat ass as long as I don't end up in fucking Baronia. And we are getting out of this bitch of a place. We're going to end up drinking Heineken's in Amsterdam. 
Uh, sangria in Spain. <laughs> Grappa in Greece. Red wine in Rome. <laughs> Vodka in Moscow. Stout in Dublin. <laughs> Zambuca in Zaire. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, oh God, what are the fuck shit? What what are they drinking? Um, Portugal. Piss in Portugal. Yeah. Piss in <laughs> Portugal. You know what? Oh, shit. We've got to go to Oktoberfest. Oh, that's that big piss on that they have in Germany. Yeah, it's huge. When 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 is Oktoberfest? Dagger. It's early in the year. Oh well, I have to fucking put in in the itinerary, Oktoberfest earlier in the year. Fucking oath we will and get to this little skinny bastard of a country. Tell me, Mummy, how was that sandwich I made you? Oh, bloody beautiful. That was a great piece of mortadella you got me this week, son. Can't wait for it to start repeating on me. See? See what a pig she can be? Yeah, she is a pig. She's really into her sausage, isn't she? <laughs> about the world of cinema. Um, he knows I like my comedies. I sent him down to hire me a comedy and he came back with Sense and Sensibility. Oh, idiot, thought it was the sequel to Dumb and Dumber. Now, I can get two overnights and five weeks, please. What kind of films do you like, Maxine? I like films with a strong female presence in them. Films about women. That reminds me. Wheel me over to the Shirley MacLaine section, will you? <laughs> I don't think they've got a section on Shirley MacLaine, Maxine. What? No Shirley MacLaine section? What sort of put video shop is this? Can make a song and dance How about come it? they can get off on having a Clint Eastwood section and no Shirley MacLaine? Oh, uh, look, maybe you can find a Shirley MacLaine section in your next lifetime, Maxine. Oh, get stuck. Well, do you like horror films, Maxine? Hey? Like shitting your pants watching a horror film? Well, I certainly don't mind. I wouldn't mind seeing that Anaconda film. Oh, do you like snake films, Maxine? Yeah, I do. I, I like a snake fuck film. Is a snake film. Oh, ah! oh shit, middle leg, middle leg, middle leg. Put your left cramp, one up. Put your left one in and put your right one up if it's still fucking hurt. Oh, just want to get rid of my cramp, not do the hokey fucking bucket. Well, what do I do? Is there anything I can you do? You can fucking not just stand there. You can grab one of her fucking legs that don't know which one. Well, what's her hurting? Well, I'll grab the other one. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck,
chair. Oh, hi. Are they just these, is it? Uh, yeah. You wouldn't have terms of endearment. We have. It's just over there, just to your left. Um, it's in the Shirley MacLaine section. I don't... Alright, we're going to be out straight in. Go Kane! Go Kane! Go Jimmy! I want to go Go! 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 Skull, skull. Skull, skull. Oh. Come on! I put, oh, come I put on. two shots in it. I put two shots in that one. Yay! Oh, this is going to cost me. You shoot it. You got it. Skull, 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 Dagger, 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 dagger. Oh, you're rotten. Give him a fucking other drink. Right. He's got this straight now. Oh, you're rotten. Oh, 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 fuck. I would fuck that bitch with a big lift. Seventeen. Oh, 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 Oh yeah, shit yeah. I'd spend hours drawing cartoon books and, you know, writing all sorts of songs and shit. I draw everything, you know. I draw cars and, and rabbits and people having it off in the nud. <laughs> See? Look. You know, I just like stories and hearing them and making them up. <sighs> Hey, you, you ever heard of some of them myths, myths that come from Greece? No, not really. Oh, they had all sorts of stories, you know. They, they had stories about, just about monsters and, and gods and heroes. You know, that's where it all came from. Everything. It comes from Greece. You wouldn't think it, would you? No. That's why I want to go there when man can't piss off. I want to go to Greece and see where, see where it all started, you know. See that big bloody Parthenon. Have you got a dinger? Well, no. Well, has Darren got a dinger? Darren, is he? He's got a fucking dinger. Well, you better go to 7 Eleven then. Are you serious? Wait, well, you're not putting that thing in me unless you've got a dinger on it. I can't fuck a 7 Eleven just for a dinger. Bazzo's big bad roll. Bazzo's big bad roll. Bazzo's big bad roll. So, did you end up passion Darren again? He is such a scrawny fucking little slob, Deb. Yeah, a little. Uh. Hey. Is he a good pasha? Oh, yeah. He even kisses with a lisp. Ah, uh, but you're a stud, mate. Getting it on with that Kaz. Ah, oh, she passed out on me, mate. I think she might be a bit frigid. Maybe she's just nice. She's got a good body, mate. Nice and slim. Oh, shit. Had a bit of flag on his back and a bit of a gut. Oh. Yeah, but he was still quite sexy. <laughs> so did you bonk him again? Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. I was gonna, but um, I just kind of felt a bit off, you know. Mm. So anyway, we fooled around a bit, and uh, and then he got his knob out on me. Mm. <laughs> you should see it. Oh, schlong. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> schlong my ass. <laughs> Horrible. Looked like someone stepped on it. 
Oh, Kez! So how about you, Dag? How'd you score? Get down Debbie's Dax, or is she uh, happy with the arsehole she's already got down? I've knocked it off, <laughs> Kane. You know me, I get so trash, I can't fucking do nothing. Yeah, well, you gotta watch that, mate. You gotta laugh the amber stuff at the right time, or else you end up with a Foster's flop there. The brewer's droop. Oh, shit, there's nothing more embarrassing for a bloke. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, no, no. Nah. Ain't the brewer's droop that's got me, Kane. I don't know, it's these other things. I don't know how to explain, you know, it's just... I mean, I don't think that I don't get horny. So I get horny. God, do I get horny. I don't know, it's just really hard to explain, it's all weird. It's like... I mean, it's alright for bastards like you, I mean, you've got a really good body in that. Yeah, yeah, well. You know, well, you've got a really big dick too. You no, know I've got a big dick. Fucking bullshit, fucking pull us out. Off. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> Yeah. Pull it out and show us a fucking sample, you can't. <laughs> you can't. seen it. I've seen you peek and you prick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck, come on. Oh, fuck wait wait a you second, alright? Wait a second. Come on. My fucking cigarettes fucking right. Take your lights out, mate. Yeah, I'll take it. You fucking bastard, you little skinny whippet. Tip rat. Watch out with all the Jesus Christ. You fuck. Hey, 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 you can never go at me, but watch the fucking shit. I'll start throwing shit at you in a minute. I'll start throwing punches. You fucking. Hey! I'll drop me gold chains. Fucking settle down, you playful whippet. But don't go ruining our shit. We'd spend all day looking at this stuff. Nah, no, fucking that's all right, mate. Oh, and you fucking squashed me, Dolce's. You fucking nicked them off a one night stand anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter how I got them. You haven't got any Dolce's, have you? Yeah, well, I got you some cleaning products. Keep cleaning. Singing fucking Sadie while I fix these drawers that I ruined. Because of you making noise in the fucking background. If I had been concentrating. Of course, they've been saving up for years now. You know, selling crap doing the odd job on the black. Oh, they, they made a mint out of that junk shop. No, oh, they're going to Amsterdam first, the stupid buckers. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't think they were going there for the windmills and the cheese, Lola. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I tell you, I'm halfway through watching the swag of videos. I just finished watching Anne of a Thousand Days, Richard Burton. Oh. Yeah, I know. Gives me the shits, too. Played King Henry in it. Don't know who the actress was who played Anne, some Frenchy woman, I suppose. Ooh, but she stood up to the pig. Ooh, she might have lost her head for it, but she stood up to him. All we ever lost was our dignity, eh? Right here, boys! Hey, Kane. Yeah. Kane. What do you got? Oi, come check this out. I got my friggin' head in a yeah, drawer. Yeah, come on, mate, come fucking check this out. What is it? Blackwood. And? What, what the fuck's Blackwood? Well, you can't get Blackwood anymore. Well, you've got some. Yeah, I know. Remember we went down to Caulfield to the hard rubbish down there and all the old blokes were... all the old people were chucking out all their shit. And you got this? Yeah, because you can't get it anymore. It's Blackwood. Well... It's yeah. also Dovetail, see? The joints. That's Dovetail. Why would I give a shit about Dovetail? Because it's Dovetail. It was made fucking ages ago. You can't do it. You can't get Blackwood anymore. All right. So I reckon... I reckon there's either two things. Put some... put some tax into it. Either go down to Grevy Street, down Pran, yeah. hock it for at least 200 bucks. Like I said, you can't get Blackwood anymore. Yeah, right. Or either that, we go up to Sassy, we go up to Sassafras and do the same thing there. And I reckon we could get probably, probably not as much as Grevy. Out, mate, they've got old copies of the Rolling Stone. Dave? Uh, July, 9, July 1980. eBay. Check it out, it's got articles on the Pretenders, uh, Clash, Mondo Rock, Split Ends, uh, Flying Lizards, whoever they are. <laughs> Check out the back, it's even got the top 40. Who's number one? Uh, Tired of Toe on the Line by some bastard called Rocky Burnett. eBay, mate. eBay, mate. This one's a gold one. Oh, this shit's great. Hey, check this one out. This has got John and Yoko on the cover. Ooh, what's the date? Uh, 1980. Oh, that's the year when he got himself assassinated. eBay. eBay, mate. eBay. I reckon. Not only that, but um, Deb told me, you know that old, you know that woman Trudy, that old bitch that lives on Narcissus Avenue? Yeah, yeah. yeah she croaked it. She got Blackwood? She's Dutch. She has shitloads of stuff there. Got no relatives. No one's there to clean a place out. I reckon we go there tonight. 
check it out. Practice oh, well, stuff. okay. We'll all right. We'll yeah. knock it, mate. We'll fucking knock it, mate. All oh, right, I'm all I'm fucking enthusiastic. Well, just, like, I'm all about it. I'm all about black. She's fucking dead, mate. Let's just go now. Perfect. The Dutch make good beer. She could have a whole fucking cupboard full of Dutch beer. Yeah, well, you know, look, what I kind of feel like, well, is that if they want to have sex with me straight away, well, then well, they're not really respecting me, you know? It's not like they're using you, because you're using them as much as they're using us, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess so. You know, they just want to get that good feeling, you know? And mm. they get the good feeling, we get the good feeling. It's not like they're disrespecting If everyone's feeling good, there isn't any disrespect. Yeah, but I don't know. Oh, I want to feel like a princess. I want to feel special. I want, you know, I don't want guys just thinking I'm some kind of slag anymore. You know, I want nice things around me. I want nice things done. You know, I just want to feel like a princess. I can't see that Darren slaying any dragons for you, Deb. <sighs> All right, Darren, now grab that. Grab that. Start sprinkling it around here. What is it? Uh, it's magic dirt. Dinks. Just fucking grab it in your hands and start sprinkling it around. Are you sure this is dirt? Just bung it on, will ya? Yeah, well, I don't like touching it, Kane. It feels smelly in my hands. I'm sure you've touched worse things in your life. Yeah, so stiff shit. Big deal. Oh, all right. What's the worst thing you've ever touched? Rhonda's muff. <laughs> Just now grab it. Put the spade down, grab it, sprinkle it on. This bastard's paying us good money to make this joint look decent. Make it look like one of them backyard makeover shows. Well, how are we supposed to do that? We're not really gardeners. Neither of them bastards on the shows. Old lady said to me once, if you act like you're on TV, you get away with a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, well, that hairy bastard's pretty thick anyway. His wife's not much better. She's got that big fucking long giraffe neck of hers. <laughs> She's a weird cat, that one. Yeah, well, there sure are some weird people in Baronia. You ever seen some of them freaks that live in Laurel Avenue? Yeah. Remember that family? Gawley family, everyone called them the Gorbies. They didn't live in Laurel, they lived in um, Narcissus Avenue. Oh, fucking nest of inbreds they were. Jesus, the old lady was a smelly bum. Oh, you'd see her walking through Safeway with her flip flops flipping around there, smelling like blood and bone, Christ. What's blood and bone? She had the mange, Jesus, everyone's too scared to go near her in case they got nits. I used to keep staring at her all the time though. I don't know why. Something about her. Everyone hated her, but she wasn't a bad chick. She just had stinky folks. She used to stick her play lunch in her sock. I sat there one time and watched her stick a whole pack of chicken chips in her sock. That's a terrible thing to do. God, my nipple hurts. Well, it's not helping with you rubbing on it as well. It'll fall off. No, no, it's just the cold air. It's the wind. Can you know, make, make my nipple go all stiff? See? Darren, I don't want to see your nipple. How about some work? I'll get stuffed. There goes Uncle Mick. Now he's getting booked. And he's having a sort. Cause his car's all caught. There goes Uncle Mick. In a police cruiser. Through the breathalyzer. Cut the record holder. There goes Uncle Mick. In his red Toyota. Oh, what? You know what? and rotate Rhonda, you're not getting her back. Stop it, you're shitting me, I can't stand it. Just like what you used to do, you bastard. You used to, while I'm lying in bed, you used to stick your fingers up and, oh yeah, I'm not getting back, I'm not getting back, you're not getting back, I don't give a shit. I know my rights, you can't do this. Get off, you fortified your rights two months ago. You just come around here now because you got your shits on. Now, P.O.Q. Do you have to be mean? I'm mean? I reckon you're the one that's a bit off. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. I just want her back. What are you getting so cut up with me for? You abused her, Rhonda. I did not. Yes, you did. When we got her, she had a bloody big bruise on her bum. Oh, on her bum? Yeah, on her bum, and it was a whopper. Whoa, if she had a whopper on the bum, then you oh. must have kicked her. Yeah, you kicked her. Hang on. No, 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 no. Look, you can't give someone something to love. Then, then come back here and ask for her back just because you've got the stinks on. Woman's inclined to change her mind, Darren. Have you ever heard of the term Indian giver, Rhonda? Yeah. Right, well, that's what you are. Now you're not getting it back, alright? You're not getting it back. Now get off the lawn! Get off the fucking lawn! Do you know what a lawn is? Listen, I've got no one. I'm lonely. I just want her back, okay?
get the bloody thing back to her, Darren. I can't just give it back to her, but one thing, Rhonda, you better not bloody abuse her again. Still having it off with that comedian? No, <laughs> dropped him. How come? Because he ran out of jokes. <laughs> Should have had it off with him again. I might have given him some new material. God, you always have to put me down just because I'm a woman. Oh, is that what you call it? <laughs> anyway, I heard you twos were going overseas. Yeah. Booked the tickets. Paid for. So, who was going to look after her then? Old man Maisie. You're a pedophile. Old man Maisie's a gentleman. He's not a pedophile. He's got a brilliant mind. He's a drunk. Yeah, he's a drunk, but he's got a smart mind. And that's the only thing that can stop him by thinking brilliant thoughts is him drinking. He couldn't lick a stamp, let alone a little girl. Which reminds me, you've been telling people I got busted drink driving. Nah, why would I? I don't know how your mind works. No, I don't want the food, I don't want the lead either. I don't want anything from you too. Yeah, well listen, the leash you say she doesn't run away, Rhonda. And the dog food, thought you might get hungry. Oh, <laughs> You're right about her, mate. How come she's so fucked in the head? I don't know. Oh, Kaz, look! A dead baby bird. That's the third one I've seen this week. Oh, that's a bad sign. That means something. Look at it, Kaz. I don't like looking at dead baby things. Oh, Kaz, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You all right? Yep. Yeah? Come. Do you want a cuppa? Yeah. Come on. Here you go. Want another one? another? Oh, time for mum. Expelled in year 10. What for? We were getting pissed on Brandovino in the common room. <laughs> you piss it. <laughs> yeah, well, Mum went and got me a job down the Chook factory in Bayswater. What'd you do there, Deb? Pluck? No, nah, mate, I'd bleach them. You know, Chooks are all yellow when they're dead. Dead set? Yeah, I'd have to bleach them so that they could go out into the shops and they'd be all nice and white and ready to sell. Yeah, place had a pretty bad pong to it, though. Ever smelt burnt feather? No. Oh, it stinks. Every night I'd come home smelling like wet chicken gut. No, my mum kicked the bucket when I was about eight. Oh, do you remember her? Yeah. I remember her smell. She smelled real good. She's buried somewhere in that Fentry Gully Cemetery. Don't know where. Just... Just can't remember. Sometimes me and Kane go looking for her. Can never find a grave, you know. There's a lot of dead people around. You know, no one would have visited a grave for yonks. Bloody awful, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna find it. I'll find it one day. And the old man. <coughs> his, his mum. Me nan, she came and looked after me and Trace and Jen. Was she nice? Nagging an old battle axe, mate. Gone and thrown her in a home now. She got this cancer in her throat a couple of years back. What was the thing? That was the only thing they ever got her to shut up. She got this fucking hole in her neck, size of a 
five cent piece. She talks with this fucking thing. Sounds like a fucking robot. Wow, Darren. Darren, what are you doing? Not come near me, I'm old. Darren. Darren, can you get us a bag of cigarettes? Darren. Darren, drop my leg. Oh, don't be mean. <laughs> fucking horrible. Oh. Like, bitch, you should go to fucking Brocky's Chinese restaurant down at the galley and fucking have a meal and steal his chopsticks. Maybe she needed them. Oh, what for? Pick splinters out of her ass. She used to do things. She used to go to the Swagman restaurant as well and stick all this food in the bag. <laughs> Remember the Swagman? Oh, yeah. Didn't it burn down? Ah, uh, yeah. Did it? Yeah, no, it burned down. She probably lit the fire. She probably did a fanny fart and it blew up. <laughs> <gasps> oh, Darren, <laughs> that's bloody awful. <laughs> <laughs> she was a dirty old bitch, mate. She, but she, she bogged her Dax once. She was in Safeways down Verona Road and she did a bog in the Safeways oh, and crept her oh, back. Yuck. She came home with bog hanging, you know. Yuck! <laughs> I know, she's horrible. <laughs> that VD that time? I think it was a footy player. Yeah, right. More like an umpire. <laughs> yeah, you white maggot. Hey, listen, mate. <clears throat> Seriously, we've actually got to get on to getting all this visa crap done. Uh, no, it's all paperwork, mate. And we've got to go get traveller's insurance. What for? In case you have a bloody accident, in case you fall off the fucking See, that's office. where they make their money. They give you the bloody cut price cost rates at the air flights, which is good, but they make up all their money on that bullshit. It's like when you buy the new cars, you fucking pay for, would you like the weather coating, sir? Would you like the new plush fucking pile seat, sir? All it's right, all so you're walking down fucking Budapest or something like that and you slip over on the Stumbling down stone. Budapest? Yeah, stumbling down fucking pissed off, you know, maggot off <laughs> your fucking face. And you slip over on the cobblestones because it's icy yeah. and you're wearing these bloody sneakers and you break your fucking leg. What are you going to do? You you're hobble be around for the rest of the fucking holiday. You'll end up in hospital in Budapest. And what's With the doctor smoking a cigarette while he's operating on foot surgery. And you know what? People live like that. So if we've got to go overseas, we've got to expect to fucking do what they do. You what know what they say when live in Rome, some, What happens if you knock up some Sheila in Greece and you've got to pay for an abortion? Travellers insurance is going to cover the abortion. We're only in Greece for six days. You'll I'll be out of there before she even knows she's pregnant. Oh, what are you going to do? Leave a litter of canes all over the Greek islands? And you know what about they say they've got Greek chicks anyway. They don't like it in the... They like it in the... So she won't get pregnant anyway. Exactly. <laughs> Do you remember Macca? Who? Macca. She died in that car crash. Remember she came from Warburton? Played drums in Paul Swindell's band. Oh yeah. Do you remember? She was really, really talented. And she died. Yeah, I do. Fuck, I've forgotten about her. Oh, how could you forget about a dead person, mate? You know Macca got burnt in that car crash? Bloody terrible. I reckon she ended up looking like a big piece of fucking roast beef.
You know Macca's mum? You know Macca's mum had to go identify the body? Fucking terrible. You know they had Macca under glass. Because, you know, because being all emotional and stuff, they reckon that Macca's mum would have, you know, would have just wanted to hold on to her. Macca would have just fallen apart. How the hell did she recognise her? By her lips. Hey. When, you, when your body gets burnt to death, your lips are the only things that don't melt. one of those things man it's just you know it's just one of those things about you know one of those mysteries about people and nature and stuff well, speaking of nature they say the human person farts 14 times a day oh, get stuffed. and that's eight for me so if we don't get out of here soon i'm going to fulfill my quota in this friggin cemetery and it's getting dark jesus christ i don't want to be stuck here after dark climbing a fucking barbed wire fence Come back. You reckon we could stop off at Dinnerland and get some dimmies and a coke? No, because I think we should get pizza. Oh yeah, we could um, we could stop off at Leeds of Pizza. Fuck, they make a good pizza down there. Yeah, they really know how to set them down there. Get a few cans, we'll be set. Perfect. You shouting or are you we gonna go Dutch? Ah! Oh, <laughs> see what I can pull out of your pocket. What are you getting? I don't know, I reckon we get one of them Aussie pizzas. Oh, fuck you, yeah, some Aussie. None of that shit you got last time. What was that? Oh, that was marinara. Fuck marinara. Remember I had the clams and the clams. Oh, oh, that was shit. Give me Aussie. Uh, Sausages from a joint in Forest Hills. Oh, they're very nice. Gourmet. Jeez, I was happy with them. We don't eat sausages that much. A couple of times a month, mainly if we have a barbie. Can't have a barbie without a sausage. Yeah, that's true. I've got a heap of them in the deep freeze, actually. Why don't you make them into a big curry? Yeah, I could do that. Then I could just uh, put a big plop of mash to go with it. Or well, you could do what I do, is I cook up the lot and whatever's left over, I make them into sausage sandwiches for the boys, for their lunches. It can get bloody expensive with those lunch Ooh, orders every day. Yeah, that's true. And Gary likes sausage sandwiches. He's really into them. Is he? I didn't know that. Oh yeah, he loves them. How's that diet of yours going? Oh, well, I'm, I'm losing a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were looking thinner when I saw you the other day. Hey, did I show you me pickies from a trip to the Cook Islands? In one of the photos, my legs don't look that fat. It's amazing. Did you get a tan? I tried. Yeah, I could never get a tan. I'm so white, I ended up as pink as one of them rotten sausages. <laughs> If you knew that I was nearly 40, then that, um, that you wouldn't want me anymore. Oh, fuck! Well, what else have you lied to me about? Nothing. What else have you lied to me about? What haven't you told me about? Nothing like you about anything. I, 
I just didn't tell you how old I am, that's all. It's not a lie, that's just... I... How am I supposed to believe that now? You lied to me, what? This... What else is there? How many blokes you been with? What? How many blokes you been with? How many blokes have you slept with? I, I've not been with any blokes since I met you. Fucking Kaz, how many guys have you had it off with? How many guys you been with in your life? Fucking hell, Kane. You know, we all have a past. Everybody has a past. I fucking told you I was married. I told you I've been with a bunch. You know I've been with a bunch of chicks. You know I've rooted a lot of chicks. I got these glasses from a chick's bedside table after I rooted her. So how many guys you had it off with? I don't know. I don't care. No, I can't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I guess that when you get to a certain age, you forget about how many people you've actually been with, but I like you. Yeah. Yeah. Just one man would be nice. And just one nice man would be even nicer. Who knows? You, you got a booger hanging out. And that, that's all right. Do I look alright? I mean, do I look alright now? Get back. Get back. I've got to start the mower. Okay. You look good. Just here? Just anywhere but back. The blades are going to spin. Mm hmm. Yeah, take this. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's just a prezi, you know. Just wanted to give you something nice. Oh, gee, thanks, Darren. Where'd you scum it from? Oh, no, it's just, it's, you know, it's just some soap. Have a sniff. Mmm. Makes you feel all nice and clean and good, oh. you know. It's not been tested on animals, has it? No, no, the lady said it hasn't been tested on animals. The ingredients inside it probably has. Oh. Thanks. Oh, I love music. I mean, it's like magic, isn't it? You know, when you think about it, music really is magic. I used to love watching Countdown when I was a kid. You know who I wanted to be? I wanted to be like Kate Bush. And you know, the Wuthering Heights. And I wanted to wear a red dress and dance like her. Oh, music really is magic. Just magic. Every night when I close my eyes, I disappear. Every day when I wake up, I'm reminded I'm here. Every breath that I take, Hangs me inside Nowhere to hide Nowhere to hide Every window I look out Clouds have turned grey Every time that I speak I have nothing to say Every corner I turn, hope you appear. Now you're not here. Never be here. Now you're not here. Never be here. I know it's not what you would have want, but I'm finding it hard now to carry on. 
given my chance, I'll take it, now you'll be there. But all of my kisses and sweet fairy wishes won't give me the thing here that I'm most missing. That is the last tender stroke that I have through your hair. first time I ever done it I was, it was back in when I was in tech. Me and Greg Farrell hocked a bottle of whiskey off this old bag and we were drinking it straight, you know, fuck. I was so maggoted. Total no ice, no mixer, nothing, just totally straight. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> I went to this party up at the basin. I wound up in wound up in this bedroom with some chick from the hills. She started getting on with me, so I just let her, you know. She undid my fly and oh, I could feel this big sizzle in my dex. <sighs> then she just sucked me off. Oh, I don't know what to do, mate, you know. Luckily I'd seen a few pornos when I was a kid, otherwise I would have been rat shit. <laughs> and then I just I just got on top of her, stuck it in, closed my eyes, and thought about the Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> yeah. I know it's not what you would have wanted, but I'm finding it hard now to carry on. Given my chance, I'll take it, know you'll be there. But all of my kisses and sweet fairy wishes won't give me the thing here that I'm most missing. That is the last tender stroke that I have through your hair. There was no warmth in our marriage, Kane. That's why we got a divorce. Just the same as you and Rhonda. Was Dad the first bike you had it off with? Do you have shitloads too? Ooh. Ooh, before I was married. Yeah, before I had you. God, I had frocks that hung. Yeah, and jeans. Oh, so tight. Mm. Yeah. And I had stockings for my legs and red lippy. I was prettier and slimmer. And even more titsy than that, Kaz. Yeah, they used to call me the sex symbol of the city of Knox. <laughs> <laughs> but you know something, Kane? All them pretty Sheilas out there, gee, they better know this. Because if they don't, all that pretty stuff's just going to go. And no one's going to give a shit about them. No, you just watch yourself, don't go pricking yourself there. Oh. You sex symbol oh. of the city of Knox. <laughs> the sex symbol of the oh. city of Knox. Oh, God. You're all mouldy, Knox, oh, anyway. Oh, God. <laughs> so how are you going to tell him? I don't know. Just don't know how I'm going to do it. What the fuck? What about the thing? What about Heineken's in Amsterdam and Sangria in Spain? Look, I don't give a shit about Heineken's in Amsterdam, all right? I just fucking did it because it gave us something to do. Oh, fuck, Darren. What about the cash? What about all the cash we made in the last three years ripping pricks off and scamming guys? Yeah, so what? Stiff shit. Look, I'll just find a place. I'll just find a dump, do some renos on it. You know, a nice place for me and Deb, kids. Fuck, Darren. This is our fucking chance, mate, to get out of this shithole and see the world. Do something with our fucking... There's a joint called Antwerp, Darren. A fucking joint called Antwerp in Belgium. And they've got 200 different types of fucking beer. 200 different types of beer, mate. Oh, stiff shit. Stiff shit? It's gonna be, that's what the fucking whole idea is, mate. To get out there and do something with our fucking lives. Oh, okay. Do you think that's gonna make... Look, you think drinking in some pub over in Belgium or fucking 
Antwerp is going to make it all the much easier. You think that we're sitting in some pub where we don't even speak the fucking language is going to make it all the much easier? Well, why fucking wouldn't it, mate? That's the idea. And you're a fucking dick. Do you want to fucking smack, mate? Oh, fucking don't tempt me, mate. You want to smack in the fucking head? You want to smack in the fucking head? You can fucking push me, fucking, fucking shit. Fucking push don't me, fucking stop me. Fucking smart ass. What have you done for me? What have I fucking done for you? I've fucking done enough for you, mate. I've fucking done enough. Who fucking, yeah, who fucking let you move into my place fuck with your fucking wife? You've fucking, you fucking done nothing for me! you fucking done nothing for me! I've fucking done enough for you, Kane. You've fucking done nothing, you little Why shit. Why is it always about you, mate, huh? Because I fucking tell you Why what? Why the fuck is it always about because you? Because I fucking Why the everything fuck for you. Is it always about you and how good you fucking think it is? How long who have you done about this? Who fucking let you move into my place after fucking Rhonda left you, mate? When your ex-wife got sick of you carrying on like a fucking wouldn't have done that for me? Why the fuck is it always about you? I'll tell you why it's always about me. Because I fucking had this idea and I let you in on it, you little fucking shit. How long did you fucking know? You fucking piece of shit. This is all I fucking ever did. This is all I ever wanted and I let you in on it. I let you in on it. And now you fucking go and step on me like this, you little fuck. I could have picked fucking anyone, but I picked you. And you fucking walked all over me. You fucking planned this, didn't you? You knew about it the whole fucking time. You fucking hurt me, Darren. You fucking little tip rat. Bronia's not that bad, Kane. Everybody wants to get out of the place they come from. No matter what part of the world they're from in the first place. Don't you fucking get it, mate. You fucking disappoint me. You know what, Darren? You know Australia, this whole fucking joint? It's made up of convicts, mate. Apart from the Aboriginals, it's made up of convicts. So? Stiff shit. Stiff shit? Mate, this whole joint's made up of people who don't want to be here in the first place. What's wrong with wanting to get out now? What the fuck you looking at, mate? Oh, fuck yourself. Oh, what's the matter with you, mate? What's the matter with you? Nothing, you dickhead. Fuck off. So why are you getting so fucking aggro about? Because I'm a fucking angry cunt. Oh, fuck off, mate. Yeah, you come on, I'll fucking have you. I'll fucking, fucking have you, mate. You yeah, get fucked, mate. I'll fucking punch the fucking lights out, mate. Watch out, mate. Come on, I'll fucking have you. Yeah, yeah. You fucking have you, will ya? I'll fucking do it, mate. I'll fucking have you. Yeah? You fucking like that? You fucking piss <sighs> weak. What are ya? This week, you piece of shit. Huh? Hey, how do you fucking like this then, huh? Huh? You can have some of this then, yeah? <laughs> huh? Fucking
looking like that, do you, mate? Huh? 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 <laughs> Say thank you, mate. Say thank you. Fuck you. Say thank you, mate. Huh? Fuck huh? you, Say fucking thank you, you piece of shit. Huh? 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 Yeah? Fuck you. Get the fuck, mate. Say it. Fucking say thank you. Say it! That's fucking right, mate. bras at Knox City. Oh, he's a lovely little puppet. He's green. Oh, I like green things. Hello. Yeah. Nabbed him from the two dollar shop. Three bucks. Yeah? My ex used to be a puppeteer. He could do really good tricks. Yeah? Yeah. He didn't use a puppet though. No? No. He used his dick. What? Yeah, he could twist and sort of squish his balls and his dick into all these funny shapes. It was funny. He could do a chicken, a bat, uh, the walrus. He could even do a hamburger. If he didn't shower for a week, he could probably do a cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah, he could. <sighs> well, I haven't got much money left, but... I just bought myself a new book. It's a dream book. You know, one of them special ones that you look up your dreams and it tells you what they mean? Yeah, they're crap. No, no, it's all true. I had this dream once, right? And I dreamt it was all about ants and they was all over me, like everywhere, you know, like ants all over me body and shit. They was here, there, everywhere. Ants galore. And when I got up about midday, I had some breakfast and then I looked it up in my dream book. And what did your amazing dream book say? It reckoned that if you dream about ants all over your house and shit, well then 
That means there's going to be a sickness in the family. And not long after that, me mum had a conniption. Conniption? Yep. Big conniption. Left a spaz for weeks. So, do you remember your dreams? Sometimes. I have this one about dolphins. Dolphins? All right, I'll look it up for you. Um, I don't know what dreaming about dolphins means. No, no, seriously, it's all right. Yeah? Ooh. Well, I've hardly got any money left, but I'm going to buy myself a new jigsaw puzzle. I love putting things together. I used to be good at jigsaws. I had one with this real big hippo in Africa. A hippopotamus in the water in Africa. Sounds good. It sounds interesting. I'm going to be really grouse trying to put a hippopotamus back together again, especially one in Africa. So what kind of jigsaw are you going to get? I don't know. Maybe one with cream things? Hey, you should have my card. Oh, yeah, in case you have to have, you know, a party or anything, because I'm really good at what I do. I'm a good clown. I'm a really good clown. Oh, finally. All right. Well, better go and make the kids happy, eh? That's what it's all about, making the kids happy. See ya. Yeah, see ya. So
to squeeze you an orange juice. Oh, damn, mate. Good on you. Oh, shit, I've got a stinker. I really tired one on last night, but... You always say that you have a few glasses of water before you crash. Oh, I always say it, mate, but I never do it. Oh, plus, you never know when you're going to crash. <sighs> Jetty morning bog yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had it. Where'd you go last night? Oh, pub. Got maggoted. I went to the cemetery on my own yesterday. Did you find your mum? Yeah. Yep. I found her. It's good, mate. Kane. Do you, do you feel funny about getting old? You know, they reckon that the older you become, the more wiser you are. Oh, fuck wisdom, mate. Oh, you just don't want to get old and sick like your mum. I just don't want to end up in a home old and fucked up like your nan. They're all crippled and shit. Wisdom does nothing for you in there, mate. Having a kerosene bath every other day. Yeah, but if you thought about where you're going to end up, you know, not like when you're, you know, when you're fucking like an old fogey, but have you thought about where you're going to end up? Why do you keep asking me that shit? Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I have. I'll tell you one thing, mate. I don't end up in the Fentry Gully Cemetery like me mum. No? No. You know where I want to end up? I want you guys to go out and bury me in the strawberry field, you know? So once a year you and the boys can come up to the hills, you can pick me, and go back to Baronia and have me with champagne. Mate, I don't think it's gonna matter where we bury you. We're nothing in this big world. Just a couple of little fucking dots, pissy little dots. Kane, do you really think you go somewhere when you die? Well, that's it. Listen, mate, I've got some news. I reckon we ought to go to the duty free. What for? Oh, you know, get some booze, get some fags. We got a plane to catch next week. No. Bullshit, are you serious? I'm serious, mate. Are you fucking serious, Darren? I'm, I mean it, mate. We're catching a plane together? We're going together, mate. Bullshit, I yes! I mean it, mate. <laughs> Woohoo! Fuck yeah, Darren! We're gonna have sangria in Spain and fucking Heineken's in Amsterdam and Stout and fucking Fuck, Dublin, Dad, mate. Fucking we're fucking doing, doing it. Now. We're fucking doing oh, it. Oh, dagger! Are you serious? We're catching a plane together. We're gonna see this big fucking world. You don't know what this means to me. This is fucking awesome. We're going, mate. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna see the fucking world. world. <laughs> Fuck yeah, mate. So good. We're doing it. Like I said to you, mate. There's just one more thing we gotta do. You wait around the corner. I'll be back. Oi, you dirty faggot. Yeah, mate. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dirty, little, fucking tip rat. Fucking dirty faggot. Hey, what are you? Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it, Eat it. Eat it. Eat it like a muff. Oh. Eat it, cunt. Eat it like a muff. Like a big fat cock. Right here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> What was all that shit you threw on? Mate, what do you think? 
blood and bone. Can't you smell it? So, Daggy, you all packed or what? Yep, I'm all packed. You nervous, mate? Oh, kinda. Never been on a plane like that before. Reckon it's gonna feel a bit weird, you know? Flying through the air like that. You know, nothing underneath it, just, just flying through the air. Where'd you get that long neck beer bottle from? Oh, there's a whole heap of them down at the back of the old cop station. You know, you can get three standard drinks out of one long neck beer bottle. The standard drink of beer's about a pot, right? So you can get three pots out of one long neck. How do you know all this? No, just learned it somewhere. Oh, bullshit, Kane. Where'd you learn it? I don't know. I just read it somewhere. Oh, that's fucking bullshit, Kane. And stop treating me like I'm a turd or something. As if you would have read it. You can't even spell properly. So where'd you learn it? <sighs> at my drink driving course, all right? Now shut up about it. Ha! Ha 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 ha! So Rhonda was right. Yeah. You did get busted drink driving. Yeah, well, so what? Big deal, stiff shit. Minor offences like that keep the economy going. Look at all the jobs that would have gone out the window if we didn't have car crashes. Think about it, mate. Governments know that. They want us to have car crashes. The only way to keep the economy going is through destruction. But you actually got busted drink driving. You know you have to apply for a special visa now to get into the United States. You fucking crook. Yeah, so what? Big deal, I'm responsible. Well, I'll just tell them I've contributed to the economy of my country. They'll let me in. Hey, Kane. Do you think you're going to miss Baronia? Baronia? Yeah, I suppose. It's a great place to grow up. But we're going to see so much, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose we will. You know what I'm going to miss most about Baronia? I'll miss waking up every day and seeing those Dandenong Ranges. All nice and green. Yeah. Yeah, I like the way that no matter what time of day it is, in Baronia it always feels like it's the morning. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, I'll miss the greenery. Nothing like a green place, mate. Just thinking, Mum, you gotta take them bloody videos back too. You probably didn't even watch the bloody things. Of course I bloody well watch them. What else do you think I'm gonna do in this shit box? Come here, mate. Now you look after yourself. I want you to keep your eyes peeled 100% and don't let them wogs rip you off. No. Now remember. Manipulate the manipulator. You know, I feel like a Zimblaki. If you get to Greece, eat one for me. Get a hard singer, Freddy. Goodbye to him, Brian. You know that, don't you? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck you. Come on. It's alright. It's alright. It's okay. Oh, I won't be long, babe. And I won't do anything with any of them wog chicks. See ya, baby. I'm off. See ya. Darren? Yeah? Come over here, put your hand down my sack. Oh, don't be a dirty old cow, Max. Hey, just shut up and do it, will you? What's this? It's a video. I want you to video it all for me. That's what I want you to do. If I'd left it up to Kane, he would have hocked it on the black in Russia or something. You sure about this? Of course I'm sure. I want you to video it and send it back to me, Sant, now and then. That way I can see the world too. Oh, good on you, Maxine. That's beaut, right? No, it's, it's real beaut. Good on you. Good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. Bye bye. Now, if you need anything, just ask Nola. She'll sort you out.
Oh, yeah? Well, can't you hopeless bastards? The V8 supercars will be over by the time I get back from Tullamarine. Don't you. All right, I love you. get off with any other girls over there? No. I reckon the only thing that's going to go down on those two is going to be the Aussie dollar. I think we might actually get body searched in customs when we get to uh, Amsterdam. You can only hope so, mate. I can hope. <laughs> if it is hope, it's a bitch. Last thing I want to do is get. Dala. Oh, I can tell. Last thing I want to do is get fingered by a Dutch. <laughs> it's a chick, I wouldn't mind. Fingered for drugs by a Dutch. Fingered for drugs. Oh, is that story where she puts the finger, the finger in the dike? Yeah, that's right, stopped it. It stopped all the one water. Little, one finger in the dark stopped it all. One finger up, my bum won't stop anything. Hey, listen, mate, there's Rhonda. Where? Hey, Rhonda! Rhonda! Hey! Rhonda! Bye. Oh, oh. Bye. Before she dies, like all the rhinoceros in South Africa. South Africa. Hey Kane, nice of your mum scoring a video camera for us. Yeah, well I'll be doing the filming. I get lost, she gave it to me. Pig's ass mate, I'll do the filming, you do the talking. I've got a steady hand mate, I know how to handle these little bastard video cameras. No mate, I'll do the filming, you do the talking. Mate! Since when have I been good at talking? You talk all the shit. You know about the places. You know about all the bullshit. Oh, all right. Get stuffed. I'll do the talking. Exactly. Oh, they've been all over the joint, Nola. Oh, yeah? Yes, they've been to uh, Rome, Paris, oh, pff, everywhere. G oh, Germany. Shit, Germany? Oh, they have been to places that I've never even heard of. Jeez, Maxine, what a whirlwind tour. That's incredible. I've only ever been as far as the Cook Islands. Yeah, well, you ought to come over and have a look at some of the videos that Darren sent. Oh, yeah, that'd be bonza, Maxie. <laughs> you should see the boys running the Vatican. The Vatican? <laughs> the Vatican. Where are they going to next? Oh, no, bugger if I know where they're going next. Oh, they're having some amazing adventures. Lucky bastards. Kane. Kane. What do you want? Wake up, mate. Jesus. Look, you've got to go see this thing. We'll go later. Might be closed later on. Come on, get up. Go have a shower. Let's go. <sighs> I've got a stinker. Listen, mate, I didn't... 
come halfway around the bloody world so you can be passed out in a bloody bed the whole time. You're sick. You'll throw up. I want to see it. We'll go later. Come on. Oh, dagger. Stuff you then. I'll go on my own. Fucking die in Baranya. <laughs>